Predator is the Arnold Schwarzenegger mega blockbuster hit movie <laughs> where he showed the world that aliens are f***ing dicks. It starts off with Arnold letting everyone know who the boss is <laughs> by making Action Jackson and the CIA What's the matter? The CIA got you pushing too many pencils? Both look like total bitches. Okay, okay, okay. Their mission is to go down here and fuck some shit up. In order to wreck as much shit as possible, Arnold puts together an all-star team of Navy SEALs, Green Berets, Poncho, whatever this guy is, and Egon Spangler. This is getting better by the minute. The first thing they notice when they get out there is this helicopter parked like a total asshole. Arnold hates that shit, so he makes Poncho climb up and leave a strongly worded note. We get it, you had some mechanical issues and are dead as shit right now, but Arnold thinks excuses are for pussies. A bunch of half ass mountain boys. So get fucked. Also, fuck birds. <laughs> but that all pales in comparison to Arnold's greatest enemy of all. Farmers. Now's his chance to finally get payback on those smug sons of bitches. Arnold knows he needs to play it smart, but that's boring, so fuck that. Instead, he gets creative and car bombs them in the middle of a fucking jungle. Then it's just 15 explosions and 2,000 rounds later and one Steven Seagal style beating of a poor innocent woman and the village is saved. But it turns out there's been an alien watching everything who was a big fan of everyone's work until now. I said to her, Chase, you got a big pussy. She said, why did you say that twice? And I said I didn't. It's because of the echo. The alien finds that really weird and highly improbable, so he fucking kills him. All that's left is his proton pack, and I swear to God, if she's the reason we never got a Ghostbusters 3, I will lose my shit. She says the jungle, it just came alive and took him. Bullshit. I'm with Apollo Creed, and that sounds really fucking stupid. Why didn't she escape? Hopper. And I'm no longer with Apollo Creed. Luckily, we still have Arnold, who can keep his sh** together as long as he doesn't see a skunk or something. Oh my fucking god! Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh my god, kill it. While it does get away, they did manage to wound it, but not before it took out Jesse Ventura. Arnold knows it could come back at any time, and they need to be ready. Our defensive position above that ridge. Mine with everything we've got. They take a quick moment to remember Ventura. He was a good soldier. He was, uh, my friend. So Arnold calls him a pussy and tells him to get back to work. They start by making these cute little umbrellas while the alien does his own arts and crafts using a hot glue gun. I don't know what the point of any of this is, but I do know it's gonna be f***ing lit. But it turns out it's not. It's a giant pig that Bill Duke stabs the shit out of. <laughs> While it doesn't make any sense, Yo, fuck you, <laughs> just the thought of a giant pig doing this shit is fucking terrifying. And I'm way more scared of that than I am of any alien. Thankfully, the linebacker pig's dead now, so they set up some wily e. coyote traps with some good old-fashioned shirtless bro time to take care of that bitch skunk so they can focus on what's-his-face. <laughs> and focusing would be so much easier if it wasn't for this. The old women in the village cross themselves through crazy things, strange things. Only in the hottest years this happens. Nobody cares, and Arnold can't figure out why the f*** she's still talking. When I was little, it was much, much worse. Anyways, 
Creed redeems that up from earlier. Why didn't she escape? Harper. With a banger of an idea. So what are you gonna try next, cheese? So Arnold goes to get some when he realizes it was a metaphor and he's the cheese. You son of a bitch. But it's too late now. <laughs> and not the alien's first rodeo, so he goes full home alone ah! on poor Poncho. But Bill Duke ain't play no f***ing <laughs> hats. Anyways, Bill Duke ain't playing no more and tells Creed to knock that man's fitness shit off <laughs> because he's got the alien right where he wants him. So here's the plan. You take your gun and go eat shit while Duke here is gonna crawl under a log and get f murdered. Nailed it. Now Creed and the alien go one on one and even after being disarmed, he still has the upper hand but instead of hitting the shoot button, he panics and hits the spin button instead so he gets f***ing gutted. Now Nightwolf is officially pissed and he's gonna end this once and for all. So he tosses the rifle and shotgun that have only been holding him back and gives himself a large open wound, which everyone knows is a massive advantage in a fight. But the alien has better things to do than get it sh** wrecked. So instead, it gives Poncho a blue laser to the face and the whole world can see his tidy whities which is so embarrassing. Arnold is infamously self-conscious about his body and can't risk that happening to him. Him, so he switches sides and kicks the gun out of the skinny bitch's hands before telling the alien to chop her up. Chop her! So while he's doing that, Arnold books it before falling down a mudslide, which turns into a hill of solid rock, which then turns into a standing body of water, which then turns into rapids and a waterfall featuring Sean Penn. Now that that's over with, they're about to battle when, holy shit, the skunk is back and they both agree to pick this up later when it's safe. At this point, Arnold's had just about enough of that dickhead alien and decides it's time he used some really questionable science to end this once and for all. Now that he's got exploding leaves, along with this bow powered by pure bullshit. He puts his war mud on and officially declares himself king of the jungle and that the alien's a little bitch. So once the alien finishes dressing up in fishnet while playing with its dolls, it's officially on. Arnold has a whole thing planned out, but it immediately gets f***ed when it's suddenly daytime, which catches him completely off guard. Thankfully, it's suddenly nighttime again, but by now, the alien is disguised as a giant fingerprint, so he has to improvise. Which works perfectly, because now it's confused as s***, and Arnold can go full Gina Davis which causes the alien to flip the f out and light up the entire jungle, frying his power glove. Sensing weakness, Arnold chases after him. And because he always makes smart choices, he decides the alien must be in this tunnel, even though it's far too small and completely impossible. After making it to the end, he realizes the alien's waiting outside and this whole thing was really f***ing stupid. But Arnold still has some tricks up his sleeve and as the world class gymnast that he is, he blows us and never mind. While that was embarrassing, he did manage to take out its shoulder laser. And now it comes down to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat, where they're pretty much evenly matched. Except the alien is about 8 feet tall, with the strength of a silverback gorilla. But besides that, they're sort of evenly matched. 
after a brutal back and forth where they both get in an equal amount of solid shots. <laughs> The alien starts to get the upper hand, and Arnold begins to accept his fate. Kill me, I'm here, kill me! But holy shit, he really loves what Arnold's done with the place, and maybe he's got this whole thing wrong. I'm doing it now, kill me! So he apologizes to Arnold and asks how he can make it up to him. You know what? When you put it like that, fuck you. Then, when Arnold goes to tell him how he's a bitch and his mom's a whore, you one ugly motherfucker. Something incredible happens. He activates a self destruct sequence to blow them both the fuck up and then laughs his ass off. <laughs> Arnold recognizes that as fucking awesome and thinks they really could have been bros. <laughs> But anyways, go fuck yourself, because Arnold hasn't made T2 yet, so he must survive at all costs. Which is the only reason a helicopter would see a mushroom cloud and figure that's some shit that they should fly into. And of course, the woman's crying like this wasn't just an average day in the life of Arnold. <laughs> 